Hey sweet babies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you like fragrance, makeup, skincare, real people, and real talk, definitely subscribe to my channel. So today y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all about a new house that I just got hit to and I'm obsessed. I am obsessed. So y'all know I get like discovery kits and stuff from brands or whatever and you smell them and it might be 10 fragrances in there and you might like two, three of them, you know, but the rest you like, man, some of them you like, hell no, you know. This is a house that I am about to dive in head first. Pew! Like, head first, girl. Like this? I'm shocked. Because we hear about the same stuff all the time, same houses and all of that. I'm like, I want some new stuff, okay? I want some new houses, some stuff that everybody ain't talking about. And this house right here, girl, it's, it's, it's hitting all the marks for me. So before I tell you about the fragrances, I want to tell you guys some little tidbits that I learned while I was researching into the house. So with Unui Nomad, you can choose like whether you want packaging or not. So I'm a person like I really don't care about packaging. If it comes in beautiful packaging, that's all the more better for the experience. But if I could save a couple coins and not get the fancy packaging, I'm okay with that. So you can pay the full price for the fragrance with the packaging or you can get 15 euros off if you just want it like in a plain white box. So I'm all good with that. So the ones that I'll be ordering will be in a plain white box if you decide you want to try the discovery set which i highly recommend get the discovery set girl and try these out and see which ones you like and when you do that you get a 20 dollar or 20 euro voucher towards your purchase for a full bottle their travel sprays are 25 ml so those are nice big travel sprays and then you can also get 50 ml and 100 ml you know i'm a 100 ml girl bottle okay i love me a good 100 ml so i'm getting full bottles full big bottles because that's just what i do but i know that a lot of people that have larger collections they don't need big bottles they can do a 50 ml and the full price for the fragrance is 145 euros so that's better than these designer brands right now this is better than a whole lot of other niche brands but it's better prices than designer brands so first First of all, the house is called Unui Nomad. They sent me this cute little discovery set. It's all beautiful and colorful and all of that. And these are all the fragrances that they sent me in this case. So just so you guys can see up close that your girl has dug in these fragrances and you see all of those empty ones right so we get ready to talk about it there's 10 samples in here i have tried all of them got full wear out of pretty much all of them this is a couple of them that i didn't really care for so those we'll talk about so let's talk about the first one which you guys saw in my last haul i'll link my haul down in the description box if you want to watch it after this video but the first one we're going to talk about is sun bleached so this is what the card looks like it has top notes of bergamot cardamom and bread Middle notes of clean linen accord, white flower absolute, myrrh, sandalwood, and white musk in the base. They all have a story to tell on the back of the card to tell you a little bit more about where the fragrance is inspired from. And the cards come in the discovery set so you can use them as blotters to smell the fragrances as well if you like to do that before you put it on your skin. Like I said, I do have a full bottle so this is what the bottles look like. They come in a sleeve like this and then they come in a case like this and the bottles are just nice, simple, chic, just, you know, really aesthetically clean and pleasing. This is so, so pretty. So if you are a girl that likes clean, fresh, airy, light type of fragrances, this is going to be for you. And when I say light, I don't mean light as in projection or longevity. I mean just light and airy, not thick and heavy. Like this is going to be perfect for spring and summer. This is like... Y'all know I'm like a fan of Lazy Sunday Morning. Y'all know I like that, right? But this is a smoother, more refined version of that. Plus it has more of a beachy, solar, like sun energy quality to it. You know what I mean? It smells like fresh, clean, white laundry that was dry, that's drying on the line on a beach though. You know what I'm saying? Like Lazy Sunday Morning is just that. Like it's Lazy Sunday Morning and... It, I wear that in the house like it's never been outside like it's not a fragrance that I really want to wear outside but this this is so clean and so pretty and this is definitely something I would wear outside like this is going to be outside this summer and y'all definitely gonna hear me talking more about this fragrance because this one is like the one you wear when you have on a nice white linen outfit or you have a flowy sundress on it's hot outside and this on warm skin Mm, mm, mm. Next one that I am definitely getting a full bottle of, and I'm getting this one next because this is also going to be so good for spring and summer, and this one is Bohemian Soul, and as you can see, I basically finished it. Bohemian Soul has the top notes of Artemisa, Olivanum, heart notes of Guyac Wood, Iris Myrrh, and base notes of Sandalwood and Musk. 
this one has such a beautiful like lime zesty type of vibes and in this lasts throughout the fragrance so not cleaning product at all and it's giving me what I wanted Bohemian Lime from Goldfield and Banks to get me. Like, I like that fragrance. I loved it until I smelled this one. This is the lime in the sun, summer type of lime that I really wanted. And that iris gives it a slight powderiness and the musk gives it like a smoothness to it. Like, mm, 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 mm. This is definitely my next full bottle because this is going to be amazing in the spring and the summer. Like... If you like fruity, citrusy, but you don't want it to be like cleaning product, it smells like just citrusy, but really clean and soft, smooth, but still with citrus. Like, oh, I just, I just love the way they compose this one. Like this one is really, really nice. And this is my next full bottle. So the next full bottle I'll be getting with Bohemian Soul is Jardins de Mispa. So as I've been researching the house, this is the fan fave that everybody seems to like. And for good reason, it really does smell good. This one is definitely a all year round scent and it smells like a sweet, just sweet jammy rose. Jardins de Mispa has cardamom and nutmeg in the top, date accord, rose absolute and rose essence in the middle and base notes are saffron and almond. If you don't like cardamom and nutmeg, it's not heavy in here. It is at the top, but it's not heavy. It blends right in with the fragrance. Like the blend of these fragrances are so good. But this is definitely a sweet jammy rose. That date accord definitely gives it like a sweet, like, you know how dates are. They're, they're chewy and sweet and just thick. And that's what this gives. It's like a rose that's like drizzled in date honey or something like that. The sandalwood does give it a creaminess and I definitely feel like this is all year round. Like you can wear this all year round. Like I was like, okay, I see why the girls are hyping this one. Like this is really good. So you have to like sweet, you have to like rose with a little bit of spiciness. Like I said, from the cardamom is there, but it's really more of that saffron. And then it has a slight creaminess from the almond. Like this is really, really nice. So I'm, I'm just shocked by how good these are. The next full bottle that I want is Suma Oriental. This is a bomb boozy vanilla with chocolate. The top notes have Cipro, rum, and cocoa. Patchouli is in the middle. Base notes have sandalwood, tonka bean, cashmere wood, guyac wood, and musk. You definitely get that nice booziness from the rum. You get some chocolate from the cocoa. The patchouli is in there, but it's not a dirty patchouli. Like is the patchouli is blended in there really smoothly. You can definitely smell the patchouli, but it's not harsh. It's not, you know, nothing like that. It's creamy from the cashmere and the musk, but it's like sweet and just thick and just, mm. this is gonna be perfection for the fall winter, like perfection. If I was gonna get it now, I could still wear it, but I think I'm gonna get this like in the summertime so it can be ready for our fall winter. But this right here, definitely one of my favorites. Like if I wasn't trying to purchase based off season, this would definitely be one of my next bottles. So the next one is Click Song, and this is actually my scent of the day, and this one is good too. Click Song has bergamot and geranium in the top, Turkish rose, absolute, and patchouli in the middle, and the base notes are cedar, amber, labdanum, vanilla, and benzoin tears. Now I don't know what benzoin tears are, but they smell good, <laughs> okay? Now this, I definitely was going back and forth on whether I wanted a full bottle of it because it really puts me in the same vibe as Tabac Rose, which I love and I have. Um, Oud Bouquet definitely has that rosy, it smells like Oud, but I don't know if it's Oud, but it smells like that and it has a sweetness to it from the vanilla and the benzoin and it smells kind of like Oud Bouquet and Tabac Rose. This one is slightly more powdery, which is the reason why I justified that I can have a full bottle of this and it's not gonna be repetitive in my collection, but Click Song is nice. You have to wear this on skin. Like the paper shows it no justice at all. Definitely wear this on skin, cause I have it on today. Already got a compliment on it. Um, not for my man either. So I was outside and got a compliment on it. And yes, this is so, so nice. Like the paper, gives it no justice. You have to wear this on your skin and you will really get that same rosy, sweet kind of 
spicy type of vibe but spicy in a smooth way like i said it's, it's kind of like a beautiful oud but it's not like stinky or nothing it's blended so so good so i also want a full bottle of this and this like i think this is more fall winter so i'll buy this one when i get summa oriental so those are the four that i'm going to purchase for sure now let's get into the ones that i'm like i like them but i'm not really sure if i want a full bottle but i do like them now this one is nothing but sea and sky and i actually do like this and i do want a full bottle but let me explain so this one has italian bergamot in the top australian sandalwood in the heart and white musk in the base now the only reason i'm on the fence about this one is i really like the way it smells it smells like clean fresh out the shower not linen but clean fresh skin with a sweet milkiness to it so i really do like that like it smells so good this is something definitely put on like right out of the shower especially in the summertime you can definitely wear this out and about like you definitely can but it does sit more close to the skin it's more like more intimate type of fragrance it's not loud or beastie or anything like that if i do purchase this this will probably be a fragrance that i would wear mostly in the house which is okay but i have a lot of fragrances that i already have for that but I feel like this one would be a good one for spring, summer to wear in the house. You know, sometimes you have house fragrances and they're so sweet and thick and creamy and just really more like fall winter vibes. And sometimes you do need something that's clean and light and airy and you know, for the spring and summer that you still wear around the house. But I can also see me wearing this to like run errands and stuff like that. So I'm on the fence about this one. This is definitely a runner up, a good contender. And I go back and forth like, yeah, I want a full bottle. I don't know. Yeah, I want a full bottle. I don't know. So, but this is definitely up there in the running. As you can see, I use it up. I wore it to bed and I just, I love, I did really love it. Okay, this one is for my floral lovers. Now, I don't, I don't know about this one. I feel like I have fragrances like this already. So I'm not really sure how to pronounce this one. This is Mamure de Do. But the top notes are Bergamot and Ylang Ylang. Middle notes are Hedion, Frangipani Absolute. And the base notes are Benzoin Tears, uh, Labdamum, Vanilla Amber, and Musk. Now this is for my floral lovers. This is for my lovers of tropical yellow florals. For my girls that like the coconutty, sweet, frangipani type of vibe because this is giving full frangipani full tropical yellow florals with some sweetness it kind of gives off a coconut vibe um it doesn't say coconut is in here but it does give that vibe so it reminds me of a uh sunkissed hibiscus from ness or a coco utopia from uh Kayali. it's not as coconutty but the coconut is definitely the coconut vibe is definitely in there what i will say about this one though this one projected very well and it was pretty long lasting like it stays on you i didn't even have to spray too much with this one like this one is one you don't have to over spray okay so let's move on to ombre canjar the top notes are mandarin and black plum heart notes are labdanum vanilla oris and ylang ylang and the base notes are sandalwood patchouli and benzoin resinoid so even though this one didn't say that it has any tobacco in it this one gives me a nice sweet kind of tobacco vibe that black plum is a nice juicy dark plum super ripe super juicy and i feel like it gives you like a juicy cherry or juicy plum type of a tobacco feeling it does smell really really good if you are a girl that likes sweet tobacco fragrances i think you would like this this one was okay for me i feel like i have something like this in my collection already so it, it wasn't like i wanted a full bottle of this but it does smell good definitely unisex i could see a man or a woman wearing this and i think this is better in the cold weather so i did use it up it definitely was nice in the cold weather i think with this one i got more of like mm, six to seven hours on this one projection was moderate um the sillage was decent but it wasn't like really floating through the air um but i did really like the sweet juiciness of it and then that like underlying tobacco type of smell um like i said it doesn't say tobacco so i don't know what uh is in here that's giving me that but it does smell good but i just feel like i have fragrances like this already next is mr vetiver so i didn't have to really spray this on me to really get the gist of this one um this one wasn't for me but this is a nice fragrance so mr vetiver has cardamom grapefruit lime basil tarragon in the top heart notes are geranium and base notes vetiver piri piri amberwood and mosses 
Now, as you can see, I really didn't have to use Mr. Vetiver because this is definitely a masculine leaning fragrance. It is unisex for sure. A woman could absolutely wear this, but this smells like a beautiful, well put together, attractive man. <laughs> Like, mm, this smells like a man that is very clean cut. He is in leadership in his company if he's not the CEO, honey. Very clean cut suit and tie and just always smells really, really good. This vetiver in here, vetiver can be real funny on my skin, but this vetiver was nice and clean. A nice clean vetiver. It didn't turn musty or anything like that. Like, this is a really nice fragrance. And this is not even a man that's just like you know in a suit and tie and all of that this also smells like a man that is single and he's at happy hour ready to mingle and he walks by you and you're just like wow he smells good he just smells good and clean and manly mm, this is nice not for me but definitely for a man okay and the last one is memory motel so Memory Motel has top notes of bergamot, middle notes of iris, incense, and carnation, and base notes of vanilla, tobacco, and leather. Now Memory Hotel was actually my least favorite. It smells like an old motel. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't like this one. It definitely smells like an old motel. So you're on Route 66, it's pouring raining down, you got a flat tire, and it's pouring raining, you can't do anything until in the morning. So you have to go about a quarter of a mile up the way, honey, and to this hotel. It's big blinking motel light, but it's like flashing on and off like it's a shore in it. And you go into the in there to the front desk and you do smell like leather because it's like an old leather couch in there. They give you a room and it smells like an old motel, but not in a dirty way, like old 70s vibe you know what i'm saying but the room is clean the linens are clean everything is clean but it still gives you that old school 70s type of vibe you know what i'm saying like it, it does smell very vintagey i don't care for this one you do get a slight incense and the tobacco smells like the person that had the room before you smoked like that like that's what i'm getting from this this isn't something that I definitely want for me, and this isn't something that I would want to smell on a man either. So this one was my least favorite, unfortunately, but I gotta be honest with y'all. I did not like this one at all. I did not even want to give it a full wear. Like, I will wear Mr. Vetiver before I wear this one, for sure. So that is all of the fragrances in here. I'm so glad I got introduced to this house because out of 10 fragrances, six of them, I want full bottles, okay? I got one, I need the other five, and I'm good. And then I'll think about the other two, and I might get Mr. Vetiver for my man, okay? But out of those, like, this is a win because most fragrance houses, when you get the discovery set, you, hard, you may like two, you know? So I'm really excited about this house. I'm so excited to dig into this house and get the full bottles so I can really bring them to y'all and show y'all how much I love them. And, you know, hopefully you guys guys will try this discovery set i have a coupon code down in the description box if you want to try this and get 10 percent off and i highly recommend you get this i highly recommend this and especially since you get a 20 dollars voucher towards your purchase and like i said if you're a girl that doesn't care about packaging girl get your save your coins and get just the white box like the clean plain box and get your get your fragrance okay because that's what i'm gonna do <laughs> um yeah so i can't wait to get these so hopefully you guys enjoyed this review hopefully it was clear enough and and I really gave you a picture of what the fragrances are like and so you know whether you may like them or not but jump on the discovery set if you don't want to go full bottle yet but these fragrances are good the quality is there the blending is there like it, it's really really good so if you guys are interested in any of these fragrances let me know down in the comments let's talk about it I'll help you out if you like not sure about something and you want to know you know a little bit more about it just let me know so thank you so much for watching this video please like comment share and of course subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next one bye